before we proceed, I would like to apologize to our beloved President, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, for any inconvenience that was caused to him by reason of this committee's first meeting. Mr. President, I am sincerely sorry, and may I humbly request for your forgiveness for the inconvenience that we may have caused you by reason of these hearings. Mr. President, if I may be humbly allowed to briefly explain my side, it was never the intention of this committee to stop hearing this most important matter. Instead, the committee meeting was only suspended in view of the pending submission of documents by the resource persons. And to hasten the submission of these documents and further impress the importance of this issue, this committee issued Supina Duces Tecum last Thursday, February 11, to direct the immediate submission of these documents in time for today's meeting. If I may again respectfully emphasize, the hearing was never terminated, only suspended. Mr. President, it is most for unfortunate that you may have been misinformed by people who wish to bring down Speaker Lord Alan Velasco and this committee. Let's assure Mr. President that these are farthest from the truth because the Speaker and this committee are for the Filipino people. It is my utmost humble request, Mr. President, for you not to believe these allegations. The allegations that Speaker Velasco and this committee are protectors of the Lopez's are nothing but absolute lies made with malicious intent. If I may only share, I was elected chairman of this committee on November 25, 2020. And that after that, I went immediately to work. This committee decided to hear House resolution, this House resolution first among over 25 other pending resolutions as early as November of last year for the primary purpose of finding the truth behind the DBB loan condemnations in favor of the Lopez Group. I recommended this to the speaker back in November and the speaker, speaker agreed to hear this first among the pending resolutions. If the speaker was a protector, he would not have agreed to hearing this first. Our first meeting in January 18 was well attended. and There was a good discussion among our members, which led to the directive to the resource persons to submit documents before, before this committee can proceed. As we suspended the meeting to await the submission of these documents, now to force compliance, this committee issued the subpoena last Friday, I uh, last Thursday, for the submission of the documents for this second meeting. This was made clear to the sponsors of this House resolution, the members of the committee and fe my fellow House members. I'm reminding everyone today in order to invite all of those in this room, especially the sponsors of this resolution, to stand united with the committee in its quest for the truth and not to make allegations and insinuations to bring down the speaker. We are all for the truth. That is the only thing important to this committee. To end, let me again remind everyone that as chairperson of the House Blue Ribbon Committee, I will always be for the truth and I will always be for the people. We will uphold accountable any officer or entity who has done corrupt acts against our people. We enjoin the sponsors to stand united with the chairman and this committee by providing it the documents they have admitted they have in their procession and to go to the very end to seek the truth. Thank you very much and a pleasant morning to everyone. Uh, good morning. This is a continuation of the committee deliberation of House Resolution 1040 that commenced on January 18. We suspended the deliberation to give our resource persons time and opportunity to comply with the submission of documents that the committee deemed necessary to address the issues referred to the jurisdiction of this committee. During the previous hearing, our resource persons were admonished to come prepared to the hearing, considering that they have been informed beforehand on the topics to be discussed and were provided with a copy of the subject resolution. We invited you on the premise that you have the information that will help the committee settle the issues subject of the inquiry and eventually recommend necessary legislation thereon. Further on, the committee upon unanimous vote with one dissenting vote, it's not a unanimous vote, what, uh, seven, with a vote to uh, 17 to 1, in the special meeting held on February 11, 2021, 
approved to issue subpoena duces tecum to compel DPP and Lopez Holdings Corporation to produce several documents pertinent to the subject of the inquiry. They were given until yesterday to comply. And may I ask the committee secretary to report the compliance of this subpoena.